if you had the chance, would you go to space? It's not a lot of hands. That's all right. Uh, I understand. I mean, it's, it's pretty dangerous. Uh, you've got to climb on top of hundreds of tons of pure explosives that are going to throw you into the sky at thousands of miles per hour. Maybe that's not your idea of fun. But despite the risk, a lot of people want to go to space, but they can't. Why is that? It's not that far. Nagoya is further away from us than the edge of space. It's about money. A rocket actually costs about the same amount as a small passenger jet. But a jet can fly thousands and thousands of times in its life. A typical rocket is used just once. If we want to make it cheaper to go to space, we have to make rockets that we can easily reuse again and again and again. And a big part of a reusable rocket is a reusable engine. Now at the moment, we really push our rocket engines to the limit. And that means they get hot. Really, really hot. Half as hot as the surface of the sun. And all of that heat does a lot of damage to these engines. Like this poor little guy here. So, as a result, they don't really last very long. If we want to reuse these engines, we have to let them chill out and relax, like that guy over there. My research is all about getting from this side of the stage to that side. And to do that, I use chemistry. Every combustion reaction, whether it's the engine in your car or a rocket engine, they all have these three key elements, fuel, oxygen, and heat. And we can control the heat by changing the amount of fuel and oxygen we use. Now, I've run computer simulations to try and predict how a rocket engine would respond to a change like this. And what I've found is that if we increase the amount of fuel, we can reduce the heat and cool the engine down a bit. It's still hot, but it's not hot enough to do long-term damage. And that means we can reuse it. Best of all, if we're very careful about this, we can, we can perform this without losing any power or efficiency. So it's a win-win. Reusable engines are just one part of a much larger space travel picture. If we can solve this puzzle, solve this picture, then we can reduce the cost of sending people to space. That means you can take your vacation in space, if you're brave enough. But it also means that we can open up these entire new worlds of scientific possibility beyond Earth. The sky is literally not the limit, and we can get there. We just need to take it one step at a time and chill out a bit. Thank you. Thank you.